right, we'll get a lot of this. Your own stem cells could now help you look younger. The FDA has approved a treatment by Fibrocell Science that uses a patient's own stem cells to get rid of creases and lines around the mouth. A Bloomberg's healthcare reporter, Shannon Pettypiece, is here with more. And hold the presses, Shannon. This is the type of news that makes headlines typically. So tell us, tell us about the treatment and... Um, you know, when it's going to be available and exactly where do they get the stem cells yeah, from? Yeah, well, here's how it works. You know, as you age, we have these cells called fibroblasts. That's what produces collagen, and collagen is what keeps our skin smooth and elastic and very nice looking. Well, uh, as you age, you get fewer and fewer of these fibroblast cells. So what this company has done is they take a small sample of your skin, just a very small sample. They take it back to a lab. They uh, clean it up, and they extract these fibroblast cells from it. Then they take those fibroblast cells, uh, grow them in a test tube. They get about 500 million cells. They take a portion of those and save them for later use and take another portion and ship them to you. They inject them right into the skin. And once they're in there, those fibroblast cells just start working like normal fibroblast cells do. They start producing and pumping away collagen. In eight to 10 weeks, you can start to notice results. And I have some before and after pictures. These were provided by the company. You can see those in a minute. And you do see they're mainly focused now on these wrinkles right along the line these smile lines here and you can see in this gotcha. patient eight to ten weeks later uh, go back in every six months is what the patients are supposed to do to get another injection and it keeps their faces looking a bit smoother and younger so this is interesting now it, it, Botox obviously is quite popular wrestling I I don't know all the all the other things that people are using for wrinkles but certainly those two are quite popular um, this is potentially going to give them a lot of competition. Well, the companies say that why they like this is because it's natural. Technically, they're taking your own cells, putting them back into your own body. Uh, it's not a poison like Botox. Uh, it's not like collagen. And it'll hopefully last longer, they think, because Botox and collagen, people have to go back sometimes four times a year because that gets absorbed into the body. Now. It's going to cost more up front, though, the company says. It sounds like a very involved process. Because, exactly, you're taking cells and growing them back in the lab. So they say it's going to cost more up front. But because they store your cells, just like they do for cord blood cells after you have right. a child, uh, you know, in the long term, after that first initial upfront cost, the company thinks it should be uh, less expensive uh, in future ones. So long term, they think it should be similar cost to Botox. Now, any idea when this actually becomes available on the market? Well, the company, they're ramping up right now. They're going to start small, and they're just actually, this, the company that makes this, they're called Fibrocell. They're a very small company right now. Um, they're starting to ramp up production, and they said, you know, over the next year, it should be getting out to more and more dermatologists. But it's basically just them marketing it on their own. And I asked the CEO today, you know, do you need a partner? Do you need a big company like, let's say, Allergan, who makes Botox? Right. And they said, well, they're going to start out doing it on their own. But once they really want to ramp this up to a, a national scale, then, you know, they're probably going to have to start looking for a big guy to come in and help them we out. We shall see. The stock, the, the ticker, by the way, is FCSC. The company is Fibrocell. Uh, stock is up about 10% on the day. It's $1.20. Seven is where it trades. Right. It's, it's up, still, but it's a, up 11 company, cents. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here with this one. All right. Thanks so much, Shannon. Always fascinating <laughs> stuff today. is quite interesting. Bloomberg's health reporter, Shannon Pettypiece, with the latest in uh, smoothing away your wrinkles.